We're in Microsoft Word 2016, and I'm going to show you in just a few minutes how to create an automatic table of contents. Automatic table of contents allows us to pull together all the different headings and subheadings in a document and makes it into a nice table for us for our college papers. So we're going to be using both the References tab, as you see here, and the Home tab at the top. Let's switch over to a paper that I wrote for a class project years ago. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this paper and we're going to add a table of contents to it. So you can see our heading at the top. We're going to highlight the heading and we're going to choose heading one since that's one of our main headings. We're also going to highlight it again and choose the center. So that way it brings it back to the center. Now we're going to create another heading, but this time it's going to be a heading two or a subheading. So we're going to highlight this particular line. We'll choose heading two and then we'll choose to center it. And we're going to do that a few more times. And then we're going to have another heading one down the list. Let's go ahead and go down here and let's let's choose this one for another heading one. And again, center. And we'll choose the one below it as a heading two, and that gives us a pretty good idea of what's going on. So now that we've created these heading ones and heading twos, we are now going to go back to the top, and we're going to turn this into a table of contents. So let's go where our cursor needs to be for our table of contents and we can go over to the References tab. Now we're going to hit the drop-down list and we're going to choose Automatic Table 1 or Table 2. It's up to you, whichever style you like better. And there is our Table of Contents. Now it did several things here. One thing is it added the words Table of Contents at the top, of course, but then it took all of our main headings and put them all the way to the left and our subheadings underneath them to show that they are subheadings. It also added the page numbers off to the right, as you can see here. Now we can edit this if we want as well. So let's say uh, the task 2 is going to be task 2.1. So once we change that to 2.1, we click on our table and we click Update Table and we'll choose Update Entire Table and now you can see task 2.1 is now added. Now if I want to, I can also go and delete what was just added. So the header can say one thing and in the table of contents it can say another. We can also go on this little drop down box here and we can change to other options such as if we wanted to go to table one. Let's go back to table two and let's say we want to move this table to another location. So we're going to hold down the left mouse button on these three dots at the top and we're going to just go ahead and scroll down until we get to the spot where we want and while I'm holding the mouse button I'll now go to the line we want it and then we're just going to go ahead and let go and it let go right where we wanted it. We can also do things like change the font. So if we highlight one of our lines we can go back to the home table and or the home tab and from here we can change to any one of these other ones we want and that just changes that one line. If you want multiple lines changed, you just highlight more lines and you change to whatever line you want and whatever font you want. Let's go ahead and undo those changes. And if at any time you want to delete the table and start over, just hold the button down and choose Remove Table of Contents and now it's gone. If you want to undo that, just choose the Undo button. So that shows you how to create and edit an automatic table of contents in Microsoft Word 2016. I'm also going to create a manual table of contents video as well, so if you want to check that out, you can see that on my uh, site here at YouTube.